So good afternoon, Karina. We are here today in Munich in this wonderful gallery. Uh, we've known each other now for four years and we've been introduced by our colleagues of the Digital Lab of Generali in Switzerland. But could you tell us more about the origin of art recognition and how did the story start? Good afternoon, Jan. It's wonderful to see you again today in this beautiful gallery in Munich. Uh, the idea of art recognition stems from discussions that I had back in 2018 with an art historian. She essentially made me aware of the fact that there are uh, many forgeries on the art market and many problems with the authentication processes. Uh, and being an art lover, I recognize this as a fantastic opportunity to put my technical skills uh, in the service of art. And that's how I took the life-changing decision of creating my own company, Art Recognition. So Karina, this is very interesting, but could you be a bit more precise on how does the technology actually work? I mean, how this system is able to detect forgery? Gladly. Um, our proprietary AI is based on the so-called deep artificial neural network, which is trained to learn the main characteristics of an artist. Um, we feed into the network um, photographs of all known authentic artworks by an artist. The AI mainly learns the brush stroke, which is very unique to an artist, but also other features such as, for example, object placement or chromatics or higher level compositional elements. And when the training is completed, um, the AI compares the learned features with those detected on the image of an art piece uh, for which the authenticity needs to be determined. And based on this comparison, it returns a probability for the authenticity of the new art piece. So Karina, this is definitely innovative. I guess the reaction must have been quite diverse in the art community. Could you tell us more about that? Uh, so uh, our experience with uh, various players on the art market is very different. Uh, so on the one hand, the art owners, including art collectors or investors, they um, welcome the new technology, um, acknowledging the fact that this uh, brings more transparency, more objectivity in the process of um, authenticating art. Uh, on the other hand, the art experts um, have mixed reactions. Uh, some of them um, embrace the technology, but uh, we also had less good experiences with experts that have rejected this technology straight away without uh, even testing it or trying to understand how it works. So I guess there is always this fear of seeing the machine or the technology substituting people. So that's a kind of normal reaction. But how is this compatibility possible and how you've seen this thing actually being adopted practically by people? Um, so the wealth of knowledge and expertise of uh, art connoisseurs uh, is unquestionable and we respect that very much. However, um, it is important to stress that um, currently there is an issue in the authentication process, namely the fact that there is a huge amount of power concentrated in the hands of just a few individuals. With that in mind, I also want to add that our goal is not to replace the art experts, but to complement their efforts. And um, I firmly believe that um, the two um, methods should reinforce each other and that this collaboration is essential for enhancing the transparency and objectivity of the entire art authentication process. So Karina, I got your point regarding complementarity versus substitution, it's very clear, but practically when you own art and you want to have an identification being conducted, what should you do and how should you proceed to be really sure of the end results? Art collectors and enthusiasts uh, should know that they can profit for a broader range of authentication methods. Um, apart from the stylistic expertise by the uh, art connoisseurs, there is also the provenance research, which is important, uh, and it examines the history of uh, the ownership of an artwork. 
In addition to that, there are also other technological methods available to them, such as, uh, for example, X-ray fluorescence or carbon dating that can give additional information on the material use and the, on the pigments. So, um, in summary, um, art collectors should use a blend of the um, traditional authentication methods combined with the human expertise and artificial intelligence. You know, what would be good maybe is to have a, a clear illustration of how the process works and perhaps share with us a case study you would like to, to explain more in details. So, uh, in 2019, shortly after we have started the company, in fact, um, we have been uh, commissioned by a, a Van Gogh scholar to uh, analyze a, a self-portrait by uh, Van Gogh uh, housed in the National Museum in Oslo, in Norway. Um, and we have run an analysis on it, so we have uh, fed um, several hundreds of uh, photographs of authentic Van Gogh images and um, uh, some uh, known fakes, uh, like the Wacker forgeries, for example, which are very well known uh, within the artistic community. And after the training, the AI returned a 97 percentage um, for this painting to be authentic. Um, it was a big surprise because this was still under debate. And uh, we have run this analysis just a few weeks before an announcement by the Van Gogh Museum in, in Amsterdam, who confirmed the authenticity of this painting after it has been held as a forgery for a very long time. You must have been thrilled at the time. Yes, it was uh, quite a sensation actually for us. Yeah, it came and, at the uh, right at the... And uh, very encouraging, of course, in, in the early days. So Karina, you have been involved in the art world now for several years and so how do you see the trend moving forward regarding AI, its implementation in this field and the evolution? The trend towards integrating AI into the art world is clearly irreversible. Um, where, whereas there is still a bit of resistance from some of the players, um, most of the um, participants on the art market um, realize that there is a, a huge positive impact of the new technologies. The greatest benefit that uh, AI can bring into the art, art world is um, its ability to make the authentication process um, more transparent, more afford affordable, uh, more objective, but also um, increases the efficiency of the authorities in combating art forgery and illegal art trafficking.